Ward 5 City Councilor, 774-297-4939, aborgat at cobma.us. And we're here for Ward 5 and 10, kind of Ward 5 extended. And it's Wednesday, August 29th, and it's super, super hot out. Anyway, I have a guest today. <coughs> um, a lot of you know her. This is uh, Veteran School Committee Ward 5, Judy Sullivan. Thanks for being here, and we're going to let Judy talk about the new school year. So, Judy, take it over. Well, thank you, Anne. I'd like to thank you for having me here today, and I'd like to talk a little bit about back to school since that's on everybody's minds. Uh, we did have the back to school uh, Brockton Public bus schedule in last Thursday night's paper, which can also be accessed from the BrocktonPublicSchools.com website where everything is on this website. It's all up do, updated and newly done. And you can find all information there. There's a back to school tab on the first page. Um, you can navigate the menu very easily. Um, we have an outstanding superintendent here in Brockton with great schools. Our opening day is Wednesday, September 5th for grades one to 12. Pre-K and kindergarten will start on Monday, September 17th. And Brockton, we have um, a logo that you've probably seen around pretty much. It's very popular now that our superintendent has come up with. Instructional excellence for every student, every day. And the force behind that is, of course, our wonderful superintendent, Kathleen Smith, and her executive team members and her school committee members. You can find your school committee member underneath the administration tab on the website and because you should know who your school committee member is for any issues that you need to contact your school committee. Um, so you go to the administration tab and look down on school committee and you hit on that and you'll see all your school committee members beautiful picture there and all our contact information, our emails and our phone numbers. Also, you have the bus routes right there, so if you weren't able to get it in the paper, you click right on the bus routes. When you go to the back to school tab, you're gonna see all this stuff. Okay, the, click right on the bus routes little logo there, and you'll get all your bus routes. If you go to the top, you see it has, says tier one, tier two, and tier three, so you need to kind of hit on each of those individually. I think Brockton High School comes up first, because your tier one is what starts earliest. Then your tier two, because we have a three tier system in Brockton where the buses run on a tiered system so that we can cut down on costs for busing. Okay, that came up a couple of years ago, but um, it runs very well. And the force behind that, of course, our Deputy Superintendent Michael Thomas, who is awesome, and uh, his, all his transportation team, which work very hard. Um, there are freshman uh, orientations coming up tomorrow, August 30th, from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at Brockton High School for all incoming freshman ninth graders to Brockton High School. So when you report at nine, nine o'clock tomorrow to Brockton High School, students should report to their CAFs that they're assigned to. Like if they're yellow building, they should go to the yellow CAF. Red building, the red CAF, okay? So and they're gonna receive their IDs and schedules. There are also student orientations for all our middle schools. So if you, you can see all this on the website. Tonight, actually, there's one at East Middle School from 5.30 to 6.30. And tomorrow night is the rest of the middle schools. South and West are at 5 p.m. And Ashfield and Plouffe are at 6 p.m. tomorrow night. Wow. Yep. You can also, when you go down there, you'll see the open house schedule, which are coming up later. So your open houses will be coming up later. Uh, at once school starts, the open houses will start so that you can see uh, exactly what your child's schedule is, how your child's day goes, things like that. So make sure you get your open house, because I mean, I can't read off all the schools. We have like 25 schools. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and Brockton High School's open house is there also. All the schools have an open house, which are, you know, coming up, not the first week, but the next two weeks, okay? We also have, um, from the Mass Association of School Committees, we have an amazing teacher right here in our own Brockton Public Schools. There are amazing things going on all the time. You just have to um, zero in and come to our meetings and we recognize many people that do amazing things in our school system here. We have South Middle School principal, not principal, teacher, Dr. Michael Robinson has been recognized 
by MASC as an amazing educator. You will see these ads out. There'll be a billboard. All right. It'll be coming up in the next few weeks. Yes. <laughs> also, if you have children that um, you need to get to school earlier and stay later, we have the Smart Start Extended Day program. Um, if you go to the website and go to our schools and go to your individual school. So if you go to the Baker School, then you want to hit on the Baker School. Then once you get into the Baker School, you want to hit on School Brochure, and it will give you the phone number for Baker School's Smart Start Extended Day program. You do have to call, okay, that number that's on the brochure. So each school has their brochure posted, and you hit on um, the brochure, and you'll get the Smart Start number. There's not one number for Smart Start because each school has one. So you have to go to that brochure to get the right number. Yep. And then um, we also have uh, on delayed school openings, which this confuses a lot of people when this happens, when there's inclement weather, or there's a reason that we have to delay the start of school. Um, schools will be delayed through um, the television channels um, that we report on for five and seven and 25, I believe they are. And we either have a one hour delay, a 90 minute delay, or a two hour delay. So what that means is uh, when delays are announced, the opening of school will occur, occur one hour and 90 minutes or 120 minutes later than normal. So that means for the buses, pickups will occur one hour and 90 minutes or 120 minutes later than normal. School lunches will still be served at their regular time. The media that gives you school cancellations will, will do this. And parents are not to send or drop off their children early on days when a delayed opening has been announced. Okay, the smart start will start at 8 a.m. instead of 7 a.m. So you cannot drop off children for school if, say, the baker starts at 9 a.m. So if we have a one hour delay, it's not starting till 10. So you cannot drop off, say you drop off at 8.30, you cannot drop off then. There's nobody out there to watch the kids, okay? So you need to drop off at the regular time, which would be 9.30 instead of 8.30 that you drop off, okay? So that confuses a lot of people. The schedules are also on the website for delayed school openings. Everything is there. And all children in Brockton get a free breakfast and a free lunch. No one has to pay, so you don't have to send any money to school, okay? The Brockton Public Schools has the breakfast in the classroom program, and all children receive free breakfast, free lunch until 2020. I encourage all parents to get involved in their children's education. Please attend parent conferences, events at your child's school, and parent groups. And if you need any information and you live in Ward 5, contact me, Ward 5 School Committee member, Judy Sullivan, and my, my telephone number is 508. 588-9171. Well, thank you, Trudy. You had an awful lot to say here. I just <laughs> wanted to ask a couple of quick questions here. So all four schools have a PTA in Ward 5, Downey, Baker, Plouffe, and East. Is that correct? Um, they have some sort of parent group. Yes. Um, okay. Yes, they all do. And uh, the Parent Information Center, which I, th I believe is terrific, and I go there often, grab brochures, is on Crescent Street, diagonally across the street from the main office, 43 Crescent Street, and that's usually open Monday through Friday, something like 8 to 2, 8 to 3. Yeah, and, and, and as a Wednesday lot of Wednesday night from that, 5 to 7. I always forget PM. about that Wednesday night because they try to make it available for parents and grandparents, people trying to, to do all this. There's a variety of information, certain circumstances. Let's say you moved, right. um, something else you know, changed, uh, you weren't around maybe for the first of school. We don't know. Your child could have had some kind of health issue, something like that. There's all kinds of people available to help. Um, if I could ask you, the web uh, is www. Yes, www.brocktonpublicschools.com. And um, this, this is amazing. There's a lot of great stuff here. We recommend that parents get involved with the PTA or the PTO, whatever group it is. Yep. And we have a lot of successful schools, a lot of successful teams. Judy and I have known each other for quite some time. So Judy highlighted the Smart uh, Start program. Mm. There's after school programs. There's community school. So it's not just the kids that can go to school. I want to clear that up right now. You mm. can take all these fun classes. All of this is available. 
We also want to mention too that we're always working to get more funding for our students. So never think that the battle is over. We have a phenomenal foundation and we just continue working because of dedicated people here like Judy Sullivan, Ward uh, 5 school committee member and long time, oh, whose kids graduated from the schools um, a few years back. And the whole lot, like I said, is going on with all this. Remember, Wednesday, September 5th is the beginning of school for 1 through 12. Right. 1 through 12. If you're way younger than that, you have to wait a little longer. Uh-oh, sorry about that, but you wait, it'll go by fast. And a whole lot's going on. Please, if you have any questions, as we always say, here it is, this dedicated individual, 508-588-9171. No question is too stupid. Because if you're new to all this, this is the fourth largest school system in the Commonwealth. It's a big deal. And, and we want to wish everybody good luck. We want everybody to have a safe school. There's sometimes a little confusion the first couple of days with bus stops. I've run into parents. <laughs> One parent, her child got on the wrong bus and ended up at the wrong school. I know oh, it was in the school. Everybody was okay. We just want to clear up. They, everyone is devoted and ready to take care of things. And we have a phenomenal amount of dedicated individuals. We encourage people to go to the football games, the soccer games, the, the musicals, the band. I mean, there's, there's a whole lot that goes on. So I can't thank Judy enough for being our guest here. And we'll probably have her along as more activity goes on. And uh, we want to want everyone to have a super safe school year. So please, you know, we, we try to help you out any way we can. And if you happen to live in Ward 2 and you don't know who your school committee is and you call Judy, Judy will connect you up with the right person. Cannot emphasize that enough. That's what we're here for. We don't have all the answers, but we're going to try to get them. Again, I'm Ian Borgard. I'm the Ward 5 City Councilor. And again, I, I'm, as I brought this up, this is Ward 5 and 10 extended because this is such an important time and it's vital and we want everyone to get the best education they possibly can and with award-winning teachers and recognition our superintendent statewide recognition award winner and you know you saw recently and before the summer started Brockton people up there on Beacon Hill fighting to get more funding mm. so you're not forgotten out there <clears throat> don't think you are and I can understand being a little confused you know we have Almost 18,000 kids going to school. That's an awful lot. And that's bigger than some of the towns around here. So let's remember that. And let's remember, too, that a lot of good stuff's going on in Ward 5. In some areas, people can take advantage of the trees. You are aware that the um, Department of Conservation and Recreation is working on the south and southeast side of Brockton and getting more trees available to individuals. These trees are free. So uh, this is something you, you will see, too, if you visit the city's website, www.brockton.ma.us. And there's activity there. And again, you can contact me, and I can give you the details, because this will kick off after the Labor Day weekend, this availability. There's 40 types of trees to choose from. Pretty amazing stuff. Second of all, if you think your street hasn't been paved and it needs to be, you're probably right. We have not forgotten about you. We're working on getting more funding to make that happen. Believe me, wanting to get money and trying to get money is no easy task, <laughs> but they don't give up. Next, good stuff here. Uh, the library, the public library system is going to have more hours at the two branches, double the amount of time, and the um, Broughton Main Library will be open till 9 o'clock. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday nights. So for those of you that commute, trying to get a whole lot done in a short period of time, this all kicks off starting September 5th. So we're very excited about that. And we have a special cookout on that Saturday, September 8th. Pass the word around. Free, free um, hot dogs and hamburgers and all that. 12 to 2 at 304 Main Street, the home of the historic Broughton Main Library. So check it out. Also, we want to remind people that Tuesday, September 4th, is primary day. The polls open at 7, they close at 8, vote. Please, it's important. Now, this is a little complicated as we continue to have a lot of whole stuff happen around here. We have fun stuff for the beer gardens. We'll continue to September 29th. 
on uh, Thursdays and Fridays. They're free. Admission, come in, you know, grab a snack, buy, um, you know, a bottle of soda, uh, you know, buy a glass of beer, whatever, you know, suits your, your interest. We want to let you know that that will be going on till September 29th. It will end on a Saturday, and that will be the market uh, place, downtown Broughton Marketplace. And this is a really good time. A lot of vendors, a lot of music, and a car show. So all this is free again. I want to emphasize that so you don't have to break the bank. The farmer's market continues every Friday till Halloween. So that's great. Every Friday from 10 to 2. You can come down and get fresh vegetables from surrounding farms and uh, some fruit too and a lot of other goodies to check out. So we want to emphasize that and this is all open to the community at City Hall Plaza, okay, 45 School Street. And now for the little bit of complication, we're getting that parking garage, but it has to be built. So beginning September 1st, or really I should say September 5th when the world gets back kicked in, if, Fourth, get kicks into gear after Labor Day, which we hope that everyone has a wonderful holiday weekend. Can't believe we're talking about this right now. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we want to emphasize that uh, things will be a little different for some of you that work downtown. Parking lots will be shifted, and Petronelli Way will be two way with, oh, I know, a block in the middle because they're going to begin the construction of the new. Ten, uh, story, um, the, the new parking garage on the address is really North Montello and Petronelli Way. Mm. So this is going to mean a little bit of confusion. There will be signs, but I, I, I know that, you know, sometimes you're just thinking about where you're going and it surprises you. And we said, what? You can't go down this way. So just want to prepare everyone. We apologize for the inconvenience, but our city needs a new garage. We have over 3,000 people that work downtown, and that's excluding the people that come to use the services and use the courthouses, and they need parking too. So it's going to be an upgrade, and we're going to be all over the place, and there's going to be little shuttle buses, et cetera. So we apologize for the inconvenience, but we're really excited. Let's face it, progress isn't easy. And it takes some time, but we want to commend the people that are going to be involved in this, the DPW, the construction company, the parking authority, then the planning department, they're all going to be involved with uh, this whole uh, project. It's been a uh, long time in coming, and uh, we cannot thank everyone enough. Just so you know, this is um, an opportunity too for, you know, again, for you to contact me at any time with your questions. 774-297-4939. I'm Ian Borga, the Ward 5 City Councilor. You don't have to live in Ward 5 if you have a question and maybe I can help you. I'd love to do it. A Borgard at cobma.us. And just to clear up two other little concerns here, uh, we will be having a finance committee meeting. We're making history this year in more ways than one. Never before in the recorded history of the city council. Have they had two finance committee meetings and two city council meetings in the month of September? It will be on Wednesday this year due to the primary election on Tuesday. Wednesday, September 5th, 7 p.m. at the War Memorial Building. Yes, the elevator at City Hall is being constructed. Again, that takes more than a minute. <laughs> We'd like it to go by real fast, believe me. Um, it's been a little disrupted, but we'll be there at the War Memorial Building. You're welcome. The next day will be another ordinance meeting on the um, situation of retail marijuana in the city of Brockton. This is a public meeting. It is not a public hearing, so at that time, no one from the community, unless you've been invited to speak, will be allowed to speak at that. That will be at 6 p.m. September 6. Also want to mention that at this time, we are working on a second date for another open forum to invite anyone that is concerned about retail marijuana sales in the city of Brockton. This is... Uh, we, we try to make it in the local place. We try to make it as convenient as possible. We encourage you to attend. These are public hearings, and if there's 100 people there, all 100 people can speak. We're there to hear your concerns, and we encourage you to uh, express your concerns, ask questions. Again, I'm Ian Borgard, Ward 5 City Councilor, 774-297-4939. Aborgat at cobma.us. Vote Tuesday, September 4th. 
start a safe and terrific school year. Good luck, everyone. And we also want to say this, too. We have a new police officer starting with school, too. And uh, we just said uh, Officer Spencer Benoit. He's uh, starting just like the students. He just was uh, taken um, and honored on uh, Monday night. So very excited about that. So good luck to him, too. So here we are, we're trying, to, we're trying to do more for all of you. You deserve it, you're hardworking residents, and uh, stay safe and cool and hydrated. Thank you.